following the previous exercises, now we will continue to work on the follow through on overlapping action. So we did that with the years of the rabbit. Remember that we were keeping the years a little bit delayed in relation to the body. And now what we have here is, uh, I already did an animation. So this is a ballerina that is performing a jump, as you can see. And what I want to add here is a skirt. So the skirt will have its own movement. Of course, that its movement is related to the body, uh, but it also has its own movement, its own physics. So that's uh, something that we are going to work during this exercise. But before starting, I want to highlight some things here. So this is kind of a realistic performance. So I didn't uh, exaggerate the stretch and squashes or even the, um, the, well, the anticipation is like very realistic, is natural, very realistic. It's not exaggerated that much, okay? Of course, that we exaggerate a bit, but not in this case, because I'm trying to recreate something more realistic. I'm not really exaggerating as I did with the rabbit, for example. And another thing that I want to call your attention for are the arcs. So as you can see, if you look to, into several parts of this body, you will see arcs happening. So look at, for example, these arms that they are going back and performing an arc. So you can see the arc happening here, okay? So we see this arc happening, right? And we also see arcs here, perfect. You can see perfectly these are here, okay? And also when the arms are coming up again, they are doing this. And here, it's very clear the movement of the, the, the arms doing like this, right? And again here, it's like doing this. And it's not only the arms. If you look into the jump itself, you can see perfectly this arc, okay? So it's like this. There's also something interesting here. So you also see the, the leg also doing this movement. And even if you look into this head, the head here, it kind of do these little arcs here. See? So the arcs are very important. When we recreate arts, we make the animation seems much more natural because that's reality. We move in arcs. Almost everything moves in arcs. The arms when we speak, even our body when it moves, they're always arcs, even if they are like this, okay? Uh, the, it's always arcs. So that's why it's important to, um, to, to observe these arcs and uh, try to make them every time possible. Okay, so I'm just now deleting these because I don't need them. Okay, so starting to create this skirt. And um, in this case, I want a skirt more or less this size from here to here. And um, I will create first a new frame. So it's a new layer, sorry, skirts. It's just a sketch. And I will actually remove this. And in order to, so I will draw here in front of the body. So what I will do is change the properties, the properties of this layer. And I will turn on the opacity. So it will be easier for me to see the, the new element that I'm drawing. drawing. So create blank keyframes and so there are uh, what we have my intention here is to explain you each pose of the skirt okay it's not exactly showing you how to draw the skirt because that's not the point of this video is to explain the behavior of the element because this is the most common question when it comes to of um, to follow through and overlapping action is that I can't imagine, the students say to me that I can't, I can't imagine what should behave, how can it behave. So you should see um, references if you have a lot of questions into something, see videos, see animations. There are a lot of good references that I'm going to put here, especially 
the survival skit animation guide that's a very good one and it has a lot of references that you can follow so you there's there's not one strategy there are a lot of strategies to get into this but <clears throat> what i want here is to explain each pose maybe it will be easier for you to do following actions okay so in the first keyframe there's nothing much to say it's like the skirt is static it's, uh, the movement the body is stopped so the skirt has its regular shape when it's dressed, right? Something like this should be fine. Then the movement starts. So you can imagine that when the move movement starts, what is happening, what, that, what will happen is the skirt here in the front will touch the leg and stays a bit behind. And now the following frame that's as that this is an this is an important one because here the movement starts slow but then there's a a big jump here of this leg the left leg as you can see jumps from this pose here into this so this means that the skirt will feel an impact of this leg that comes up so the behavior of the skirt must transmit this action. However, as we talked before, the movement of the skirt will be a little bit delayed. So what I see here will be the skirt still touching this leg and staying behind as the previous one, but more open. And the, the impact of the leg will be visible in the following one. So let's make here a skirt that follows the body, okay? And now this one here must behave accordingly to that impact of this leg, okay? So here the skirt will get up a bit here in the front. All right, and now as the, that leg comes down, the for if we focus on the movement of that skirt the the it's like some air got inside the skirt right so the 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 skirt lifts a bit and then it sh should be even more visible here because the body is coming down so the skirt is staying behind and receiving all that energy from the the change of shape that was formed here in this frame. So here is connected to the leg and now the air gets inside. So the shape of the skirt now should change. All right. So as you can see here, maybe I will change a bit this. Okay. See that the shape changes here in the front. This is very important to communicate the, the material that the skate the skirt is made of so it's a, a soft tissue and very flexible and i can transmit this feeling with this transition here see the, sh the shape changing like this this is quite important and the back of the skirt is also moving a bit but in this case the front part will be the more relevant and the one that will best communicate regarding its shape and its form now in this pose here, so we created this hole, as you can see, and as the body comes down, so it's getting lower and lower, okay? And here in this lower pose, we can increase or keep, I will increase a bit, but the idea is to keep this format because the skirt here is still with this shape and we'll only change it when the body will start moving up. I'll just make it like this. This shape is the, basically the same shape. Here I'm just raising up a bit here in the back and then I will change the shape of the skirt here. So here is the moment where the skirt is still lifted but in this moment, the, the following moment is when the body is coming up. So if the skirt is flying on in the front of the leg and the body will now go up, the skirt will touch the leg. So we can do something like this. Okay, so touch the leg because 
this leg is coming from there okay and this this leg will perform this movement here and now this movement here until here would be i think it's easier to to follow because it's only behaving according to this leg uh, position and uh, it, it's easier to to imagine because the, the skirt will be close to this leg and just flying with the wind on the back so from here to there we have this and now i did i show a bit of the interior of the skirt here and i will since the the skirt will be flying a bit here behind i will continue to show more of the interior of the skirt here in the back while the front part of the skirt will be always touching the leg so this is the following frame as you can see i keep the same shape the skirt touching this leg and we um, flying a bit here behind due to the to the wind and the same here but now notice that in this position i already made a little adjustment here because this is the moment where the ballerina is reaching the top and from here the ballerina will go down and when the ballerina goes down there's again a, a different shape that we must consider for the skirt due to gravity and due to the difference of weight between the body and the skirt. So the body is much heavier, so it will fall faster and the skirt is lighter and will stays behind. Of course, that will follow the body because it's attached to the, to, to the ballerina, but it stays a bit uh, delayed and especially the, the bottom parts, right? So that's why I'm already raising a bit here. And now in this pose, I'm doing it again, okay? And now I exaggerate even more because this is the moment where the leg gets ready to get the ground and there will be another impact there to consider. But here the skirt is staying behind a little bit. It's slower here, okay? That's the ease in and ease out or slow in and slow out as we talked before in other exercises. So the skirt here stays the difference is not too much but now i will um, make bigger differences between frames so the movement will happen the the action will happen faster so the, the the shape changes will happen faster which uh, communicate this idea of much more movement in the skirt so now that the leg will touch the ground what is happening is that this back part of the skirt will reach its most uh, change of form possible. See here I have this, I decided to open the more as possible, of course, that I don't make this line straight, else it will be feel like the tissue of this skirt is not flexible and soft and I want this skirt to look soft. So that's why I'm making all these curves here and keep opening this front part so now you see here that the the body keeps coming down and here in this pose here the difference is that this leg is bended so and another thing that i will call your attention notice that this foot when i touch here is on the ground and it stays in the same point this is very important pay attention to all your movements when you have legs in your characters it's very important to pay attention to the legs and to the feet uh, and here i keep this all this weight coming to this foot and the, the leg bends and what should happen to the skirt is that okay she the skirt sh should continue to make this shape because we started to create this shape here so remember here when we started to get the front part a bit up and we continue to making that one up and also making this one flying and we increase here this shape and again we open the skirt here and we will keep opening and making it more more deformed 
since the leg came down, what I did here was like opening even more the skirt. This is the interior part of the skirt, okay? And we see a lot of, uh, uh, like this, the skirt is very, very wide right now. And this is the last moment that the skirt is all open because here the body is still down and remember the movement of the skirt is like being delayed a bit like one frame behind as we did here so when the skirt comes when the body comes down the skirt comes up but it comes up and then the second frame that the body is down is when the skirt is coming down too and we will do the same thing here so the skirt is uh, is open here but is the second frame that the body is in the lower position. So here, let's make that skirt finally touch his leg again. So I had to make some changes here. So I, just to keep <laughs> showing the, the arm, but that's not the more important thing here. What I really want to call your attention for is that this part of the skirt is now touching the leg. The back part, I still have it like open and behind, okay? And now for this pose, my skirt will finally came, come to the original form. However, since the body here gets up, I will stretch a bit the skirt so it will feel more flexible. So here, the, I know that the original shape is something like this. So I will now, because the following poses are all very delicate, only walking. So I will come to the original pose and change just a little bit. But in this pose, I will make the skirt a bit longer, okay? So here, you can see that I, I made the skirt a bit longer, okay? So here, it's uh, I have it here, the, put it up again a bit. And now, as we can see that the body is coming down again, I opened again here a bit, and now it's coming up. So I keep that part open one frame again. So if I now made again the, the, the ballerina coming down, then I will do all the same again. So I will again put the skirt like this and then continue these changes of shape. Okay, so let's see how it looks like. Yeah, so now I'll just make some color to make a solid color in the skirt so we can observe it better, okay? Create a new layer. This will be my skirt fill. I will paint it just in two colors, like a one color from the outside part of the skirt and another color for the inside of the skirt.
Okay, so so that's it. I think that now that uh, if you can accomplish this, you can recreate something that is realistic. So from now you can just uh, explore for more. So you can change the size of the skirt, the, the material that the skirt is made, or add a ponytail, add, add a cape. No, it's up to you now. So for a sketch, I think that's perfect. You just need now to explore for yourself and good work.